guys, how's it going? Tim's back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode and it is time for the FA Cup Final. We're at Wembley once again after beating Arsenal on penalties in the semi-final. We do find ourselves coming up against Newcastle FC for the final. So let's jump straight in. This is of course going to be a live commentary. I will cut it down a little bit. You won't see the entire match, but I will try and leave in as many decent key highlights as I possibly can. Because I know a few of you were asking for some, for some longer videos, etc. So I may try and do that with not only this video but uh, but the uh, Champions League final which of course will be coming to you on Monday as well but whilst the uh, whilst the teams load up in the background whilst the game is getting into it as the players come out onto the pitch at Wembley uh, I do want to quickly say I am going to be doing a, a player awards episode if I possibly can so uh, do feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments for uh, not only uh, categories for a player awards but who you personally think has been you know player of the year or most improved or um, you know Oh, I'm trying to think of different ones that I could use. You know, most improved, best young player, best first team player, best squad rotation player, anything like that. Leave some suggestions in the comments. Maybe we'll even have subscribers player of the year or something like that, as well as having, of course, the uh, the usual player of the year awards, etc. So we'll be doing that. I'll try and involve a goal of the year if I possibly can, and I'll try and go through all of the previous episodes over the weekend ahead of us. To, uh, to try and pick out some goals for goal of the year. If I don't manage to get that into it, I do apologise. But uh, that is what I'm going to try and do. That will be coming to you probably as an extra episode rather than uh, as one of the outright daily episodes for the team, for the series rather. Look at that. Chertsey up top, obviously doing very, very well for uh, for MGH in his Roma career mode, playing for Newcastle here. That could be a real threat up top. Uh, but let's get into the gameplay, shall we, rather than me just waffling on about player rewards, which you aren't going to see yet. So hopefully we can come out of this with a victory. We've done well against Newcastle in the second game we played but of course they were the first team to beat us in the league this year we did lose our unbeaten run we went about 15 16 games in the league undefeated before Newcastle beat us 1-0 up at St James's Park so uh, we got payback for that in the uh, in the second game against them this year but uh, to be able to pick up our second trophy of the season would be absolutely superb of course earlier on in the year we did manage to pick up the Capital One Cup against uh, against Manchester City here at Wembley so uh, we're hoping to uh, to add to our uh, our trophy tally for this season of course we've finished sec uh, third in fact in the uh, in the league now after uh, the last episode which you would have seen yesterday which uh, confirmed the other uh, league standings man city won the won the league absolutely comfortably and uh, tottenham a were able to uh, to pip us to uh, to, oh god were able to pip us to uh, to second by uh, by picking up a win on the final day and we could only draw against cardiff one Matt needs to get on the weights but uh, yeah, well, hopefully we can come up with this out of this with a win. Of course, we've got the Champions League final two weeks after this. I'm just going to give that a whack if I can. Whoa, that nearly went in as well. Jeeps. Oh, sorry, I kind of punched the microphone in celebration there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can come out of this with a win. We've got the Champions League final two weeks today. So, uh, oh, that was so close. Jeeps, that was a lot closer than I thought. Hopefully we can... Uh, we can, you know, get a cup treble, but we'll have to wait and see what happens today. Could be on the break here, possibly. Matt is making a great run. If I can find him, oh, he's just not got the pace. He's not got the pace. It's a shame. One, if one Matt was just a little bit faster, he'd be such an amazing FIFA player. What a ball over the top that is, by the way. Like Remy running onto the end of it. Try to stand him up with Ashley Cole. Great block. All been tackled. It's fine. It's gone out for a goal kick. Panic over. That is a lovely ball down the wing towards Davide Santon. I don't want to let Remy get a shot away here. Great tackle from Ashley Cole. He's been a fantastic player for us this year. He really has. Oh no! No! Wowzers! I don't even know how that's ended up in the back of the net, but we are 1 0 down after 22 minutes. Loic Remy manages to uh, to capitalise on that mistake at the back. First first shot took a deflection. Petitek had already committed to the dive, I think, as we watched the replay. Already committed to the dive. Yeah, and it, the ball just went through his legs. Loic Remy. Well then, that's a, uh, that's a turn up for the book. So something against the script. Definitely going to have to come out fighting now. We're going to have to uh, put the back burners on and try and get ourselves back into this game. 1-0 down after 20 minutes. Hazard. Into Vidal. Come on, Rambo, make a run for me. Good. Oh, ref, you're murdering me. This ref, given decisions against me, and now getting in the way of the ball. That's nice, though. It's nice ball into Torres. Defenders are committed. If I can turn and then dink it, Rambo's in. Go on, under the keeper. No, great save. Vidal, turn. 
Torres find Ramirez again. Give it a whack from distance this time. Tops! No, another good save from Tim Krull. Rambo's so disappointed. You can see him hands on head. That was a great chance for us to get back in the lead. Back in the lead? Back in the game? What about back in the lead? Jeeps were 1 0 down. Come on, Varan. That's it for the first half then. A difficult half for us as Chelsea playing against Newcastle. 1 0 down as we head in at the break. They'll be happy with their first half performance, it has to be said. I'm not really too sure what the stats are going to say. Whether we've had more possession than they have. They've been holding on to the ball pretty well, actually. It's probably going to be about 50-50. Let's have a look, shall we? They've definitely had more chances than me, I think. I'm trying to skip these replays. Oh, jeeps, we've had more of the ball, but they definitely have had more chances. So we need to step it up second half. I'm going to try and be a, a, bit, more, a bit more adventurous when attacking. Let's switch to attacking from balanced. I'll, uh, I'll try and throw caution to the wind, perhaps try and get ourselves back into this game. Torres has done well there. Can we just run around the outside of everyone? Oh, almost. Go on then, Rambo. We'll use Ashley Cole on the overlap. Sherlock on the outside. Got a man on the shoulder, Yanger and Biwa. Get the turn in and the cross. Torres, up you go. Oh, Fernando can't quite get there. Matter. Wins a header. Newcastle making a change and taking off Loic Remy for Gufran. And I have to be honest, I am not sad at all to see the back of, like, of Loic Remy. It's been an absolute thorn in my side so far. Hopefully that means that they're switching to, uh, to a more defensive outlook and we might be able to push on and find a little bit more space behind them as they try and catch me on the counter. Maybe I can counter on them. Vidal, make me runs, guys. I've switched to attacking and everyone is fucking static. What is life? Rambo. Vidal. I've just got nothing. Make me a run, lads. You lazy motherfuckers. 1-0 down in the cup final and they stand there and look at me. This is the... We're playing like the Chelsea of the beginning of the season, not the Chelsea that we've been in the past couple of months, picking up win after win. Matter's come feet, though. Ashley's made a run. I'll try and find Matter again. No, there's Torres. Can we get the turn in? Oh. Make those changes as soon as we possibly can. Hopefully not after a kickoff for a second goal. I think they're going to get free kick for handball there. They are. Well, we'll make those changes then. Hopefully they don't get anything from this and we can kind of push on towards the rest of the game. As they bring on Vernon and Anita as well for Musa Sissoko. Another good change from our point of view. A smaller player, not quite as fast, not quite as physical. Should be a good 25 minutes for us for the rest of the game. What have I done? What have I actually done? I don't believe it. I was trying to skip the replay and he's passed the ball out. They're actually going to go 2 0 up here from a penalty. I was trying to skip the replay of Petacek walking out with the ball and he's just passed it straight forwards. I don't believe this. Churchy, is it Alessandro Churchy with a chance for Newcastle to go 2 0 up in the 68th minute? Almost put the ball to bed. He's going to go left. Oh, saved it! Vital! Right, break. Come on, the William. Rambo. There's Hazard. Turn. Oh, what a challenge. What a challenge. Sherlock's free on the far side, though. Oh, no. Hazard's gone down. Please don't be out for too long. We've got Champions League final in two weeks. Broken elbow. That's going to kill me. That is actually going to kill me. We'll bring Oscar on. No, Hazard's been one of our most influential players in the past few weeks. Oh, it's an awkward fall. There's Torres. He's got the run. Play the ball through. Oscar just on the pitch. Can he finish it? He can! Oscar! It's 1-1. Chelsea back on level terms. Get involved. Oscar, he's only been on the pitch a couple of minutes. He's already brought us back levelling the game. We're looking to win the FA Cup now rather than just take it to extra time. Fantastic run. Holds off four players to bring us back into the game. Oscar, you beauty. Maybe we won't miss Eden Hazard. Wowzers. Talk about having an influential substitution. He did that for Chelsea in real life on uh, New Year's Day against Southampton. Don't you even fucking think about it, boys. I'm not I'm not going to give up another goal now, surely. No! Oh, I don't believe it! I don't believe it. Two minutes. We're back in the game for two minutes and we're back behind. Oh, God. Guys, what on earth is going on? 
Well, back to square one. He's played that wrong ball, and the ref's probably going to blow for final whistle any second. Oh, what a ball to finish it, to round it up. Johan Kabay, Rafael Varane gets back. Another life-saving block. They've still got the chance. It's three. It's game over. 3-1 Newcastle in the 94th minute. We've fallen apart, boys. We really have fallen apart in this FA Cup final. I can only apologise for the overall performance. It's just not been good enough. Maybe the players' minds were... Oh, what a finish. Maybe the players' minds were taken away by the fact we've got Champions League final coming up next. I don't know. Maybe my mind was taken away by the fact we've got the Champions League final coming up next. But Papi Cizé has finished it. That is game and set and match. It's just a case of waiting for the final whistle now. Danilo's done well, ref. This ref's killed me off. There we go, it's the final whistle. It's Newcastle 3, it's Chelsea 1, it's an FA Cup final. Newcastle finally win a trophy for the first time in 50 odd years. And unfortunately for us, we aren't able to pick up our second cup win of the season. The Capital One Cup was a good victory. The f getting to the final was superb, but we have lost it. Attention's turned to the Champions League final in a couple of weeks' time. We'll have to rebuild, we'll have to re-moralise, if that's even a phrase. Pick up the uh, the confidence of the squad, push forward and hope to improve next time out. Congratulations to Newcastle, though, it has to be said. They were definitely the better side on the day. They fully deserved the victory. And uh, we'll watch them pick up the trophy in the background. But that is going to bring this episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do apologise I couldn't bring you another cup victory so far this sec this first season. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. So uh, if you could leave the video a like, that would be absolutely superb. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, feel free to do so. There will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen. And uh, that's, that's just going to wrap this one up. I'm genuinely devastated that we haven't been able to win the FA Cup because it is massive one the biggest competition in England in the most historical competition in world football historical competition in world football I'm so disappointed and frustrated I'm even making words up now thank you very much for watching guys I will see you next time